the tip of the market are very fast and very big. That means if the market falls and if there is any correction in the market that is expected to happen a bit faster, you take you take any any example. So whenever there is negative news in the market, that affects the market very, very quickly. Right. So if you see the COVID fall over that that the fall was very sharp and very fast, right? But the same market to recover from that fall, it took it, it took months, right? And even if you would have seen it with uh, some stocks as well, whenever a negative news affects that stock, that stock goes down with a force. But whenever there is a constructive move, that means whenever there is enough move, the stock takes some time to move in the upwards direction. Basically, whenever it goes down, it goes down fast and move. Whenever it goes up, it goes in a slow and steady manner, right? So now, Whenever we are trading in market, we should also account for this risks that we are trading in the market. Let's say I am long on Nifty's futures. So I should always be taking care of if there is something negative which pops out and which lets the market down, right? Let's say if I am buying or holding, you know, even in fact, if I have uh, uh, investments in any specific stocks, big, big investments, not, uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, decent investments are, is what I'm talking about, at least equivalent to the lot size of uh, the particular future contract. At that time, you know, if there is a big down, the moment I enter into a trade, then I am going to witness a huge loss, right? So for that times, we should have some strategy on our, in our bucket list when we can go ahead and implement. Similarly, in case of stocks as well, there would be a lot of scenarios wherein you you might not be comfortable in holding that stock, right? So at that point, you should have some strategy, some kind of an insurance, which will help you to ride the trend during that phase, okay? So what I mean is that instead of exiting our investments, instead of existing, uh, exiting our portfolios, right? Halka uh, karne se better hai. We try to use options as an instrument to protect those things. So that brings us to the first strategy, which is uh, this one, which is uh, the protected put. So nothing very simple strategy. So let me just take you to the architect tool. So this is the new UI. You can uh, search your favorite analytics from the search symbol, click on custom strategy and just add a future contract first. Okay. Hey traders, Quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you. Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. So let's say I added future contract Then now this means that I am bullish on Nifty, right? So I am expecting up move on Nifty. Now I am, I'm not someone who can predict the market 100% of the time, right? right? And apart from that, let's say if there is any news which I don't know, right? I can't know all the things at the same time. There might be something which I don't know and due to which the market might go down drastically and it, there might be a sharp down move which might happen in the market. You know, because if there is a down move and uh, futures, they will keep you exposed on both the sides, right? Even if it is going down, then also you are open to undefined losses even in future too. So at that time, what you can do is you can do a simple modification, which is just go to the monthly future, take a monthly option contracts and just buy a OTM put option. That's it. So let me just select put and select OTM put option. Let's say I'm buying 18,400 put or maybe 18,300 strike price put option. Go slightly far away. That is also okay. Don't buy uh, very close by. If you buy close by, then you will not face a instant loss. That is the only case over here. If you go far away, then the premium that you are paying, that would be very, very less. So this premium is nothing but insurance. Okay. So here you have not created this strategy to earn more money from the market, but this strategy is to protect you from, you know, more losses that you might make. Okay. So this is simple protected put. So it will uh, replicate uh, long cost. So now if you see, now your losses are capped. To 27,000. If you change this a bit, if you alter this a bit, then maybe you will get a better reward to risk, like say 18,300. Okay, so, oh, sorry, I bought a call option. Let's say I like, and let's select June. Okay, and let's select 18,300 put option. Okay, and just add it. Now it would be slightly better, right? See, it has become slightly better because you are now ready to pay more insurance, more premium. For, 
for the cover that you are getting. So this is a comfort, right? You are you are getting some comfort. The comfort is that even if Nifty goes uh, down very vigorously from here, still you will not face an undefined loss, number one. So that will eventually come at a cost and that cost is nothing but the option premium that you have paid over here. So now this, when we will do, we will do this when we are expecting, you know, some negative news, if there is a war going around in some other country, which you think that might affect our stock market, then that time you can maybe use this. And another time is a lot of times there are seasonal trend tendencies which exist in a particular stock or sector. Okay, so at that time, you can try to use this because nothing is very certain in the market that this is going to happen. So let me just show you one simple example of RBL Bank related to seasonality. Okay. So the first thing when we will do is whenever we are expecting some kind of negative uh, thing to happen in the market. Another time is if you just see seasonality of RBL Bank, okay, of last four years. So now if you just check this out in month of March, what's happening in RBL Bank? Every time it is going down by 10, 20 percentage average, right? So let me see the average as well. You can see the average from this too, from the tabular view. So average it has, it is falling in month of March in last four years by 18 percentage. Now let's say you're holding RBL Bank. You know that something like this exists in RBL Bank. There is a seasonal trend tendency of RBL Bank to collapse in month of March. So if you do something like this and if you have, you know, RBL Bank in your portfolio maybe, then, you know, you can at least protect yourself from the further losses that you might make in RBL Bank. Basically, you, you will not be exposed to the undefined loss that you are taking. And apart from that, maximum is the option premium that you are paying, right? And even if the RBL Bank goes up, still then you are in a win-win situation. Let's say you are trading RBL Bank in March and you have done a protected put over there. Even if RBL Bank goes up, still the future is going to give you money. If it goes down, then put will protect you to an extent. Obviously, it will not give you profit, but it will protect you to an extent. So this is the first type of strategy. That means whenever, you know, I see something which might affect my portfolio as a whole, this is more like a positional strategy. And in, this is more like a strategy to protect your losses, to cut down your losses instead of making more money from the market. Okay. Apart from that, what you can uh, do other thing is another type of strategy is, uh, you know, a covered call. So what does a covered call mean? So here you will also do a bearish strategy only because you already have a bullish strategy, which is a long future. So here what you'll do, you will sell a call option slightly out of the money. Okay. And let's say sell a call option. Now, what is the benefit of this strategy? Now, if you see, it looks like a short put option. Both are bullish strategy, but this will have some theta inflow because we have sold the call option, we have sold the call option, then the theta will be benefit of yours, nothing else, else this thing is completely ultra of the strategy that we understood earlier. So if you see, this also has undefined losses because we have sold the call option. Now why undefined losses over here? Because this call option can go maximum to zero, right? And that would be a maximum profit. After that point, the call option will not have enough power to give you more money. So that is the reason even in a covered call, you will not be protected, right? Like a protected put. But what is this? This is if you see that uh, the break even for uh, this strategy, if you hold it till expiry, it's 18,400. The break even is below, right? It is below the current price. Now, why it is happening? Because you are getting theta benefit of the sold leg. Now, what is uh, the other characteristics of this strategy that if the market remains in a range, Let's say if uh, Nifty doesn't fall and neither it goes up, then future will not give you any profit on loss. But if the market remains there, a sold call option will give you profit. Why it will give you profit? Because the theta is consistently decaying from there. And this is how using covered call and, uh, uh, you know, protected puts. You can play markets around a bit smartly because every time in the market, it is not necessary to always keep on going aggressive and keep on uh, buying or selling just trading the direction at some points you will have to cruise the trends in the stocks that you have in your bucket list on your portfolio or sometimes you may also require the strategy to play a particular view in the market let's say i am bullish on nifty but i want to do it with a protected put yes i can do it right or i can do it with a covered call yes i can do it so not just the protection thing it can also help you in 
you know, trading the market views as well, right? So we saw about seasonality as well. By the way, you can access all these analytics from the link in the description box below and also in from the iCard as well. Okay, so you can use something like seasonality to identify is there a, a seasonal trend in a particular script and then you can choose any of these type of strategies. So do check out the link in the description box below and uh, you know trade options like a pro. So that's it from this video. So do check out Quonsa from the link in the description box below.